And you find that your power steering reservoir is empty, then you've got a power steering leak and you need to fix it. Now, if the leak isn't obvious, get some of this ultraviolet dye and pour it in the power steering reservoir. Just pour it right in, then start the engine up, and turn the steering wheel back and forth for about three minutes. Then put on these funky yellow sunglasses and start looking with an ultraviolet light for the dye. So we'll look around and there's the die. It's on the top of the power steering hose, the high pressure one on top of the power steering pump. So we'll get a wrench and then loosen the bolt on the top side first. And with a little twisting, it comes right out. Now the other end is on the rack and it's hard to get to, so we'll take the wheel off to access it. Ah. As we go inside the wheel well, we'll see. There's the bolt right there. We just need to take that off. Now the bolts on the power steering rack are usually on really tight, so get a big cheater bar and a socket to break it loose. Huh. Now it's loose and we can take it off. We have a drain pan ready to catch all the drips. And out comes the old hose. When you put the new hose on, make sure it has the rubber sealing ring on the end. This came with a new one. Then bolt the bottom on first, the one that goes on the steering rack, because that's the hardest one to line up. Then put the stop side in its hole and tighten it up with a wrench. Uh, uh. Now power steering pumps can have over 1500 pounds per square inch pressure, so you want the lines on nice and tight. Then just fill it up with power steering fluid. And then with the car jacked up in the air, start the engine. And then turn the wheel back and forth for about two or three minutes, that'll get the air out of the system. And then you're all done. Sure, you might get a little sweaty like me, but you're going to save a lot of money. And remember, if you've got any car questions, just visit scottykilmer.com. And I'll answer them as soon as I get back from this ride.